Nice to meet you too, Tepei san. How are you today? I'm also doing great. Thank you so much for asking. So, I would like to check a few things before we start. Can you hear me clearly? Good. How about my video? Can you see me well? Awesome. <laughs> Is my English speed comfortable for you? Oh, that's nice. Also, I will be checking your mistakes. I will be typing the correction on the chat box, okay? All right, and before our lesson will start, let's have a quick introduction. Again, my name is April. I am from Manila, Philippines. I am a teacher, and I like to read books, and I like to watch Netflix series. How about you? Uh -huh. Wow, that's nice. <laughs> You're welcome. And what is your favorite music? Oh, it seems that it is an old song. Oh, you like classical music. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. It was nice to meet you. And, <laughs> and for today, we're going to talk about, this is about conversation material, making and accepting an apology. By the way, how long have you been learning English? That's nice. Your English is very good, huh? Yeah. Okay, so let's start now and let's make learning English fun. So let's have exercise one. Use full expressions. Read it. We're going to read its expression and please repeat after me. Making an apology. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Excuse me. Pardon me. I apologize. I want to apologize for. Okay, for accepting an apology. That's all right. Never mind. Don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. I understand. Wow, great. <laughs> I think you're sleepy, Tepe-san. <laughs> what time are you going to bed? What time will you go what time will you go to bed tonight? Oh, very early. <laughs> but you have online classes, right? Oh, really? You like it? Isn't it boring? Oh, how do teachers conduct online classes in Japan? 
Yeah. So you're in Japan, right? So how do they teach students like you? How does, like, for example, you go to the university, right? And you have online classes every day, right? And how do teacher teach you? Is it like this or? <laughs> so they just teach, that's all. Oh, no activity? Activity, no activity. Oh, so you are sleeping while on the lesson. <laughs> oh, have you <laughs> have you been to France before? Have you been to France? Or Europe, European country? Oh, because your accent is like a European country. Oh, yeah, like the French people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so let's have. Yeah, that's why I'm thinking a while ago. His accent is same with the European countries. <laughs> okay. So let's have exercise two, dialogue practice. We're going to read the dialogue aloud. Hannah is apologizing to Lauren for her rude behavior. Which do you like, Hannah or Lauren? Okay, let's start. Lauren Franz, what about? You're right, I am. You were so rude to me. I don't mind if someone disagrees with me, but you shouldn't have turned it into a personal attack. I understand. Don't worry about it. That's all right. The main thing is that you apologized. I'm sorry if I've been mean to you since it happened. Me too. Wow, that's nice. Let's switch. Okay, Lauren, could I speak with you for a moment? I know you're still mad at me since that argument we had the other day. I know I was really out of line and I want to apologize for how I spoke to you. Shouldn't. Shouldn't. Yeah, it's good. That's fair. I apologize. It's no excuse, but I was having a really bad day, and I guess I took it out on you. Let me know if I can make it up to you somehow. That's all right. I'm just glad we can be friends again. Yes. Okay. Any more questions? Yes, I have 
Sure. Mm -hmm. It's like, for example, this is like an English in idiom. Yeah. So, for example, I'm having a bad day and then I got mad at you for no reason at all. So, instead of uh, taking it out from from myself, I took it out from other people. It's something like that. For example, your dad is um, had been scolded by her boss. Your dad's boss is angry to your dad. And then your dad becomes angry to you. So your dad took it out on you. <laughs> okay. Is it clear? <laughs> okay. So any more questions? Okay. So if none, so let's have... Let me check your understanding. So, number one, why did Hannah apologize to Lauren? Correct. Did Lauren accept Hannah's apology? Her... Good job. Why was Hannah rude to Lauren? Yes, that's right. Perfect. You had a perfect score. So your comprehension is very good. It's time for us to do exercise three. This is the role play. But before that, Tepe San, have you been mad? to other people or to your friends for no reason at all? Ah, uh, you're a kind person. <laughs> Uh -huh. oh, how about are either any of your friends get mad of you? Do any of your friends get mad at you? Mm. Did you apologize? Perfect. <laughs> Exercise three, role play. We're going to role play the following situation. So you accidentally step on your colleague's mobile phone. Oh, no. <laughs> and damage it. And the phone is iPhone. iPhone. What's the latest iPhone now? <laughs> iPhone 13. <laughs> okay. Apologize. Explain why it happened and promise that you will be more careful in the future. Okay. Let's start. Are you ready? Lights, camera, action! <laughs> oh no, my phone is very expensive. What are you going to do about it? Okay, but you have to fix my phone. Repair. 
buy me a new one. Can you buy me a new phone? I want a new phone. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Nice one. Very good. Wow, you're so good, Tepe san. I like how you answer and how you think in English when you're trying to converse. That's very good. <laughs> But look at you. You did it well. <laughs> All right. Any more questions? I like how you apologize. Please do it that way. I I can sense the sincerity on that. So let's proceed with exercise four. We're going to have a discussion based on the following question. So do you find apologies difficult? Mm -hmm. Oh, how about in the situation before, in the role play, is it difficult for you? Yeah, to apologize? Oh, would you, mm -hmm. would you get upset if somebody didn't apologize to you, if they had been rude? Why? Mm, I see. So, for example, so do you think, why do you think apologizing is important in maintaining good rapport? Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, I see. So have you ever felt the need to apologize to a colleague or a classmate? And tell me what happened. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Have you ever felt the need to apologize to a colleague or classmate? Yes. Mm. <laughs> oh. Mm, I see. Do you always apologize when you do mistakes? Do you always apologize? Oh, sorry about that. Do you, uh, can you hear me? Okay. Do you always apologize or is it easy to you to apologize when you do mistakes? Mm. 
Mm, I see. So, other questions. Why do you uh, take English class seriously right now? Yeah, seriously, yeah. Before, it's not serious, too serious, right? Mm -hmm. So why? Oh, do you plan to work in America? Oh, because you have a European accent. <laughs> so if you're going to, to discover or invent, if you're going to invent one thing, what will it be? Um, for... Oh, sorry about that. So, for example, you, you've you been given a chance to do invention. Yeah. So, what are you going to invent? What things are you going to invent? Oh, sorry, for example. Oh. Yeah, for example, me, um, I'm going to invent, I want to invent a slimming food. A food that I will eat and I will not get fat. That's my invention. I want to have that invention. How about you? Because you want to be a scientist, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Whoa. Wow, that's nice. Short and simple. It's very, it's very, it, That is right. In just a click, you can find everything, right? <laughs> have you have you ever apologized to somebody even though you didn't do anything wrong? Mm. That's great. Very good. All right, Tepe San, any questions? Okay, you did an amazing job for today. I might say that your comprehension is 80%. You can take daily news if you like for a progress. And I just want you to keep on talking every day. And then you have to earn a lot of vocabulary. Okay, thank you so much. I enjoyed the class. Hope to see you again next time. Okay. Keep safe. Good night. Bye. Arigato. <laughs> Sayonara.